God help me here. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. The law was given to to Israel by Moses. Grace and truth came to the church by Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. I talked a little bit about this on on, 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 um, Wednesday. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Unless I should be exalted above measure to the abundance of the revelations, there was given me a thorn in the flesh. The messenger of Satan to buffet me. Glory to God. Lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Here's what I love about Paul. Most gladly, therefore, would I rather glory in my infirmities. Not hide from people, not be ashamed. Oh! I would much rather glory in my infirmities. That the power of Christ yes. might may rest upon me. That's good. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. Amen. For when I'm weak, Amen. then I'm strong. Amen. Glory to God. And Paul says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 21, he said, I will not frustrate the grace of God. Because if righteousness came by the Lord and Christ is dead in vain. I don't, I don't preach so already. I'm just going to talk to you this morning about grace received, grace applied. Grace received, grace applied. You may be seated. Amen. As you look at your neighbors, you still look good. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. Minister Pat always let me know when I dress a safe way. Amen. Thank you. Amen. My wife even told me I look good this morning. I know I'm dressed for my wife's temper. I look good before I leave home. Amen. Amen. And so of course she always hey, Amen. looks good. Amen. Amen. I'm going to talk this morning to you about the grace of God. Grace is um uh, help me with these monitors, Josh. I mean um Jay, I feel a little bit far away. Help me. I feel like I'm far away. Either bring me up in the monitors with the mids or something so I can feel that's better. Understand something because I'm gonna take you on a journey and I'm gonna try to do it within a half hour to forty five minutes because I know we have to have church, amen, tonight. But I'm glad that you came to church because right now, Frederico, I keep telling the Lord, my prayer life was changed. Everything about my life is changing because God is transitioning me. Now, I'm hoping that all of y'all come with me, amen? amen? But God is transitioning me out of myself into his grace. Mm. Uh, I'm in here by myself. Anybody here understand what I'm saying? God is, tra- now the times of transitions and the experiences of transitions, they are painful. But because God has to make sure you understand what he's trying to tell you. And see, most of us don't learn by hearing. Somebody say amen. amen. We learn through experience and stuff. I just somebody say amen. So since God know how hard-headed we are because he made us, when he get ready to transition us, he put us in experiences amen. so that we can rely on his word, so we can get a revelation and then move forward. Am I here by myself this morning? So God is transitioning me to more where I can more and more depend upon his grace. Yeah. I can more, more depend upon Jesus, depend upon the Holy Ghost. I'm out here this morning preaching by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm applying the gift of the Holy Ghost to my life as I stand before you right now. That's why I'm not nervous, I'm not concerned, because I have applied that gift to my life. And whatever God placed in the Spirit for you today is going to come out no matter what I did yesterday. Amen. I know it's kind of hard to receive, but if you walk with me, I'm going to help you. The only thing on this earth more powerful than God's judgment is His grace. The judgment of God is real, but he gave us grace. Amen. And the only thing that's going to overcome judgment is grace. Amen. So if you and I want to be not be judged, we have to receive his grace. Amen. Because if we don't receive grace, then we're up under judgment. Yes. If we're not in grace, we're up under the law. Amen. And we're up under judgment. But, however, grace must be received before judgment is reprieved. Amen. Wow. Amen. I don't expect nobody to say amen, but let me say it again. However, grace must be received yes. and applied before judgment is reprieved. That's why many people in church sit up under judgment. Because we have not received and applied God's grace. Amen. This is good teaching, y'all. I don't know if you get it, but it's good teaching. I'm going to say it again. Many of y'all stayed away from church for a long time. Didn't want nothing to do with church because you didn't understand how to receive and apply God's grace and you're living up under the judgment of people who don't understand what God has done for you. And then you begin to receive and apply God's grace in your life. It changes how you respond to everything. 